Yo, what's up, YouTube? Kid Vape coming to you again with my good buddy, Corey. How you doing, YouTube? I like that Dream hat you got on there, too. Well, it's yours, I hope so. I do believe so. It's nice. It's very <laughs> nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. Today, we're going to be doing a Twinspired e-liquid review of all their juices. I think there's, what, eight? Eight. That's what it looks like. Eight of them. And, uh... Hopefully we like them pretty good. Hopefully y'all like the review, and uh, hopefully uh, we got some good ones. There's two of them that are here that I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to doing, but uh, let's hop right on into them, shall let's we? do it. Bam. First and, uh, one. Show you the card real quick. Oh, let's flip this around so you can see it. Bam. And uh, the first one we're going to be doing is a watermelon lime. It's a fresh watermelon goodness with a hint of lime makes this flavor a blast of refreshment. This 85% VG mix is our take on one of the South's favorite flavor combinations. That doesn't sound, uh, sounds like they got some big shoes to fill if it's a favorite of the South. Oh, but that's a whole lot of people. Yeah. I'm, I'm from the South, and uh, I mean, I like watermelon. I like lime, but... I've never uh, been able to grow a watermelon very well. I haven't though. either. I mean, I've been able to get them, but they're little things. I just, maybe just not enough love. You know, I don't know. Let's get this nice and, nice and juicy. Ooh, a little too much. Wow. It's definitely, I get a hint of the watermelon followed with a lime. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it reminds me of, uh, you know, I drink occasionally and stuff like that, and, uh, it reminds me of, uh, tequila shots, is what it kind of reminds me of, that lime flavor. Every time I vape lime, I think tequila. I think everybody thinks when they see a lime, they think tequila, if you've ever drank it. But, I um. I never drank tequila with a lime. That's the way you gotta do it. You gotta take that shot, lick the salt, take the lime. I've always been the kind of person, if I'm gonna drink, I'm just gonna knock them down and be done with it. That's why he has to leave at 4 o'clock for the AA meeting today. Oh, well, you know what it means. Oh, no, it's 4.30, ain't it? Yeah, 4.30, yeah. <laughs> Just joking about that. He ain't he ain't an alcoholic, but uh, we're alcoholic of juice. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Connoisseurs. Well, no, I mean, eventually, before long, it's going to be uh, JA for Juice Anonymous. I do believe that will occur. I do believe or it. VA, Vape Anonymous. It's going to be one of them. We, we combine probably vape more juices than most people's ever tried in one day. I mean, we vape in one day what they've tried in a year. Yeah, right and, um, especially after Vapor Slam. It, that was crazy. That yeah. was, if you didn't get a chance to go down to Vapor Slam, Vape Mania is coming up. And, um, It'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina in uh, yep. September, if I believe. Yep. But definitely check out the ECC Expos and the VCC. VCC's got some coming up in Tennessee, so uh, look into those. But uh, the watermelon, I taste it on the front palate, but I taste a lot of lime. I do, I do get a good lime. bit of lime, but it's 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 a good mix. It's it not is. like a stout lime. Mm -hmm. Like it's not real citrusy. It's not like lime's got that real sour, tang, tart. I mean, different people, different slang. But it's it's not there. It's it's, <coughs> it's that smooth watermelon with that mm -hmm. that hit of hit of lime. Yeah, and, and these were vaping as the true flavors at zero nick. So. Uh, I think it's pretty well, pretty good. It paired mm -hmm. very nicely. Very nicely. And uh, the next one we'll be doing is the blueberry cheesecake. Mm, cheesecake. Oh yeah. I love me some cheesecake. I like me some blueberries. So I'm gonna tell you, I had a, I had a teacher back in high school, man. She used to make cheesecake. You could buy it from her. She'd bring you a bowl of it, like big old bowl, ten bucks, man. Best cheesecake you ever had in your life. So teachers were hustling in yeah, school. Yeah, exactly. They were. Ever, ever, ever day I'm hustling and hustling, even at school. Even, even at school. At school. But, I mean, it was it was a cherry cheesecake. Mm. Oh, man, it was. That, that sounds pretty damn good, actually. It does. Let's see how this blueberry cheesecake vapes. Thumbs up instantly. Instantly? Instantly. That is uh, that is very good. We'll see what it's I It's like a, a blueberry muffin mixed with some cheesecake all crushed up and put in a bowl. Definitely. That is wow. Cover me up again. That's cool. That bait deserves to go where it wants to go, sir. Because that's some good stuff. Cover you up, too. I like that. Man, that is... Mm. I that's like a... it. Oh, yeah. That is good. Good job, uh, Twin Spired there. That's, um, that's a good juice. Mm. That really is. Yeah, it is. <coughs> Let me clear this.
And you'll see me clear my coils quite a bit. It's because we're going through eight flavors and I want to give everyone an opportunity. Also have my outlaw box set over here in reserve if I have to grab at it. The next one is going to be a red cream soda. Which is a full bodied red cream soda that will make you swear you just opened a can. Smooth and creamy, but not over women. Not over women. That's what it says. Uh, I've not really found a red cream soda that I've been a I don't think been a I, huge fan. I don't think I've ever drunk I have a cream soda. I have now orange cream soda. That it's like a that's a yeah. What you think? I think I might have to go buy a bottle of uh, cream soda just to uh, compare them, cause um, it's pretty good. It's it's a good mouth juice. I'll let you know. It has a huge mouth feel to it. Mm. It's got a good mouth feel. It's very just. It's not. It's very subtle, but. <laughs> You okay over there? I got into that a little deep. A little deep. I, I, I've never um, drunk a cream soda, but that was actually um, it's got quite that, pleasant. It's got that cherry. It's uh, mm -hmm. I taste cherry, and I'm not a cherry person. Like unless it's fresh pig right off the right off. I don't know if it's off a of vine or the vines. Vines or right cherry vine. tree or it's cherry tree. tree. Yeah, yeah. I, that's about the only way I can eat cherries. I get a real strong cherry taste out of that, and I mean it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's it's an awesome flavor, but. That cherry, it's kind of overwhelming on the cherry to me. Okay. Next up, we're going to be doing a uh, caramel apple. A sour but sweet green apple coated in a very sweet, creamy caramel. 85% VG, by the way. It smells pretty good. Uh, this bottle right here. Caramel. I hope they didn't go heavy on caramel. It smells caramely. That's for sure. Mm, excuse me. That was uh, that was just uh, delightful. What you think? It reminds me. See, I was in the military. And uh, he was in the military, and I actually got to go to uh, India. And uh, they used to have these sticks that they'd dip in caramel, and they would coat it in this powdered stuff. Don't really know what the powder was. I guess they're secret blend. But uh, it, it reminds me of that a lot. It it's gives me that caramel flavor, but with a, like a, a carrier of some kind of dryness to it. I get so much caramel out of that. I mean, it's good. It's it's not a it's not a heavy caramel, but it's it's a it's a it's real sweet. It is. It's not like your salted caramel. Mm -hmm. It's it's um it's got a sweet roll to it. It kind of reminds me too of uh, like the caramel that you get at uh, McDonald's out of the little um, Sundays. It reminds me of that, yeah. but a little drier tasting. It's not bad. It's not bad. You'd have to be a caramel fan to like that. Yeah. I like caramel just like anybody else. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do like it. And um, I believe a tank would bring out a little bit more of the apple, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. But on a dripper, I'm getting solid, like a dry caramel. If it tastes like the caramel in a Milky Way, like just the caramel Milky Ways, the, just the chocolate and caramel. That's what it tastes like. I'm 30 years old, so I, I think they might still have them. They might not. But you remember the, um, oh, it, it was a caramel block on a stick. Something daddy. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddies. That's what it tastes like, a sugar daddy, without breaking your teeth out. <laughs> that, that, a lot of kids lost some teeth over those, I, mean, I guarantee it. These technically could break your teeth out, but uh, that's only in a very dire situation. But that's what it reminds me of. That and the the dipped caramel from India that I, I actually had a few times. That's what it reminds me of. Not bad. You'd have to be a caramel fan for that, though. This one is the one I've been waiting on so patiently. 
But that is the Blue Raspberry Slush. Let's see here. Do you remember when the gas stations all had to, yes. all had the do-it-yourself slush machines? Yes. Do you remember the blue flavor? We do. An 85% VG flavor. This will vape. This vape will take you down memory lane and roll thick clouds at the same time. Hmm? And by the way, there is a puppy paw machine right down the block from me. Blue slushy all day long. Always been a fan of the green ones. I can't even wait. I can't even wait. I'm going out now. You go. This juice line reminds me of a, a saying, and all, all y'all will know this saying. Hopefully, it came from uh, Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you get inside. Yeah. It's the same thing with vape. Vape is like a box of chocolates. Every time you try a flavor, you never know what you're going to get. And so far, these have been spot on. I mean, you, I, don't, you don't know. I'm kind of a little let down on that juice. It doesn't have that sharp blue raspberry that is in a slushy. I taste it. It's there. Mm -hmm. But I wish it just had a little bit extra of the extract for blue raspberry. Yeah. I mean, it's got that slushy roll to it, that little icy feel. But it does not necessarily have that in-your-face blue slushy that we would suck down and you'd be left with a cup of ice. I mean... Oh, try it on this oh, one. Oh, man. It's, I, get, I get that. I get that blue... Blue raspberry flavor on that. A little bit different. Maybe mine's a little, little too hot or something. Well, that's that's built down to like a point oh seven, point oh eight. I taste it better on his. I really do. That's a nice flawless tube there, also. By the way, there, sir. Can't go wrong with flawless. Slam cap and all. It's uh. I actually was just able to start using this slam cap uh, yesterday. Actually, uh, guy had a uh, mod I wanted that had that that deck on it, and I I made a good little trade with him, and uh, my OCD is happy now with that because it, it all all matches. I'm very picky about matching sizes on this stuff, and that that just it just I mean it's just pretty. I mean you can't get wrong with that. It's got good airflow on it. I mean. It don't look like it would. I mean, you can see the airflow on it, but uh, it's uh, it's right there where it needs to be, and uh, all day long. And uh, the next juice up is uh, straw melon cream. It is fresh strawberries blended with a ripe, juicy honeydew and a light cream finish in this 80% VG blend. This is refreshing white blend, full-bodied flavor. Excuse me, flavor. And a clean finish, by the way. There ain't no way that's 80%. That's thick. It looks thick. It says 80%, though, but uh, I think it was just as thick, if not thicker, than the 85s that we done. I think it's thicker because it's, it's, it's like uh, you go buy a bottle of VG and you try to pull it up with a syringe. It takes forever. That's, that's, how that's, that's how that dripper does. It, it, it struggles to pull it up in there. I taste some honeydew there, but I taste a strawberry honeydew. If there was ever such thing as a strawberry honeydew, that's that was spot on. Spot on strawberry uh, honeydew there. It's very clean. I get the I get the watermelon honeydew. I don't I don't get I don't get a strong hint on that strawberry. But that's uh that's 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 uh it's right on. That's it's a strawberry strawberry watermelon. I mean I don't get as strong, strong strawberry. I get like that little subtle hint saying, hey, I mix in, but I'm not going to overwhelm you like a lot of people do with strawberries. I like it. I really like the mouth feel. I like the front palate and the back palate taste. The cheek feel. I, I really, really like it, actually. I think that would be something I would definitely like to um, try and uh, throw it in my moonshot and definitely uh, go vaping on it, you know, on a, a travel day or something. Very good. I think the next one, uh, Mr. Corey here is going to like it pretty good. It's a peach lemonade. Ooh. Which, uh, fresh, juicy, peachy, combined with uh, lemonade to bring you two of the summer's best flavors together in one package. 85% VG brings taste to the table 
that will take on your summer picnic and leave you refreshed. I hope it's like one of those that lemonade tastes like the, like the roadside lemonades because those are always the best. Oh yeah, the ones that's been uh, put in the sun for a little while. Like oh, old grandma's you know sweet teas and the lemonades that sit out there. The you know the old fashioned type stuff. That's when you could actually really get flavored. That wasn't, I guess, splendid up or yeah. whatever that fake sugar stuff Splenda is. And Give me a pound and just pour it. You know, pour it until your your wrist feels like you've done work. Oh yeah, my wife. That's when you know. My wife's grandma makes a sweet tea, man. Mmm. Knock you off your feet. It's sweet, but it's so good. It's like a candied peach. It is. But it's got that lemon, lemon tart behind it. Yep. Especially on the on the exhale, I get a lot of that lemon on the exhale. It's not a it's not a heavy lemon. It's more of like a it's more like you make a peach a peach tea a peach sweet tea. You now some of y'all from the south y'all know peach mm -hmm. sweet teas. You take a lemon, cut it in half, squeeze it just enough, mix it up real nice, and then just sit there and drink it. Yep. That's what that that's 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 what that reminds me of. That's pretty good stuff right there. Now I want a peach sweet tea. A little bit. Kind of makes me hungry. A little bit, yeah. That's pretty good stuff. And the last one, but not the least, is going to be Big C's Candy. <coughs> Says this flavor carries the namesake of our oldest twin. So you know it's good. This is our take on red licorice flavor that will take you right back to the days of being in a kid in a candy store. This 85% VG flavor can quench your sweet tooth without being overwhelming. Mm. I don't see how they can get not overwhelming with red and, licorice. Use, and use the word red licorice. Yeah, red I mean, licorice is usually it, pretty stout. Oh yeah, at least it's not black licorice. If it's black mm. licorice, no disrespect, but I would pass the ball to him and I would not even try it. I'd set it down because I am not a black licorice fan. I mean, you know, I've uh, if you've ever watched the Gripper uh, review I done, I came very close to um, having a, a very bad day. <laughs> And uh, if it was black licorice, that day would have already came and passed, and uh, we would probably be ending this day pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> and McDonald's right down the street probably wouldn't be getting any of my dollars today, by the way. Ooh, it smells like red licorice. Ooh, that stout smell. What you think? Is it good? I like it. It's not overwhelming at all. Not overwhelming. So I was wrong on the overwhelming licorice taste. And the mouthfeel afterwards is... It's a strawberry Twizzler. It is. It's like not just the regular, the ones you peel. but the ones you peel. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. That is... That is I'm good. very surprised by that. Twin Spired, you done some good juices. Really good juices on par... 98%. Won't give you 100% because I don't think no juice is perfect. There's always something. But yours is very close. And uh, I think Big C's Candy was a good good end into the line because oh, yeah. that's um, it, that's spot on. Spot on. Yeah, definitely. The deeper rip you take, the more you can kind of savor the watery flavor coming off. That is some good stuff. Mm -hmm. The warmer it gets, the mm -hmm. better it gets. Definitely. But uh, definitely, thank you, Twinspired, and uh, I enjoyed it. I oh. enjoyed it much. Very, very much. Very much. So, uh, like Kid Vape always says, do what you gotta do.